I got the CRT and Offera. I wanted to use it as a second screen. But for some reason, every time I turn it on, it flickers on and off. So I've been scouring the internet to see if there's a fix. The diagnosis is so vague that a lot of people give you wrong suggestions. And I wanted to clarify how easy it is just to set up your CRT monitor. Every time you plug in your CRT, Either it's a VGA. Sometimes your computer isn't gonna have a VGA. Your graphic card port. If I could get down there. Oh, that shit is dirty. Your graphic card port is gonna have something like this. And that's a DVI. I ended up picking up one of these. DVI to VGA. You know, Thinking, you know, it's gonna run it. So once I connected this uh, VGI to DVA, once I powered it on, it just shuts on and off. Like, it knows it's reading. Signals trying to catch it. But it just keeps on turning off and on. So that was my first dilemma with getting a CRT monitor. I thought it wasn't going to function. Then I was looking up on the internet, browsing around. I've been seeing a lot of people have different diagnoses. They want you to open it up. They want you to see if there's like a messed up wiring. And that wasn't the case. It was something much, much easier. So. I um, saw on one of the forums that all you needed was more power to the to the adapter. So basically, is it's, it's uh, checking uh, the the VGA adapter for more power. So it's, I guess it's the lack of power because right now for a second it runs and then it shuts off, then it runs again. You know that's not good, especially when you're trying to play. A quick fix. So it, it doesn't matter if it's HDMI or VGA, as long as it's one of these cheap ones, these, uh, yeah, these single ones without power, without a power adapter, it's not going to run. I uh, recommend two, uh, two ways to um, bypass this, to fix the flickering, uh, to fix it from shutting off and on. So they said um, check the power for VGA adapter and... I went on Amazon and looked up a VGA adapter with power, and this is the first one I found. It's a JTEC HDMI to VGA. It comes with audio output and HDMI out. So you just connect the VGA, basically the same thing as this little one, you know. This one's basically a HDMI to DVI, but you need a VGA to HDMI instead of DVI. So you could use this one, you just powered it on. Here, let me let me show you. Connect the power to it. And then right here, you connect the HDMI. Alright, and this VGA out. Just screw it on all the way. Okay, connect that HDMI to the one back here, and you're all set. And now, the flickering should be off. Fuck, I didn't even know if it was recording. And now that we connected that little, and now that we connected this, for the moment of truth, just turn on the, and there, it works. Let me see if I could <laughs> fix the eyes, so. Flickering speed. Oh yeah, that should fix it. But there you guys, there you have it. No more shutting off and on. That's all you need to do. So on camera, you know, it, it has a different refresh rate than this, so you know it looks weird on camera. But I promise you, the flickering stop. It's not flickering anymore. Like I have a second screen CRT now. I can use this for anything now. Play games. 
I can be on YouTube and watch it. Okay, the best part. If you want to play video games, just go to display setting. And right here, make this main display. And now your second screen is going to be your main display. You can do this so easily. Just switch between left or right. So, and then make main display. Just switch back and forth. It makes it so easily. So the reason why you want to do this before you play video games. Because when the app's open, it's going to open up on your second screen. Okay, so yeah, uh, so once your computer's on the second screen, you can play any retro game. Like, they're gonna look so fucking good on here. And there, yeah. Literally, it looks so good. I don't know, if any of you retro enthusiasts, I recommend you get in this Brook uh, USB uh, gamepad adapter. And picking up one of these wireless N64 remotes, they come in handy. Just connect that. In there. Should be read properly. So that was my tutorial on how to fix the screen turning off and on on your CRT monitor. If you guys have any more tips, questions, or any more information that will help, I'm pretty sure someone out there would find it useful. Because I know how hard it is just to track down any information or just research any basic information on this. Because not that many people have CRTs or are barely getting into it. I appreciate you guys for your time and yeah, have a great one.